Jay Walker POV live from last week, episode 14. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow Jay Walkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. As you can tell by the background noise, I'm in downtown Toronto right now and I saw an ad on Facebook Marketplace for a snowboarding helmet for 10 bucks. And I'm gonna apologize in advance, fiance, but I'm here right now to buy it. So let's go home and hide this baby before the fiance finds out. So I'm back at home, helmet is in the locker and the fiance does not suspect a thing. I also came home to do some birthday greetings. Want to wish a happy birthday to Erica. I remember hanging out with you, your brothers, and your sister at the SMIOA event over in Chicago years ago. And how you guys did a pretty special dance number that night. I hope everything is going well with you, you're staying safe and healthy, and you have a great birthday, Erica. Also have another birthday greeting to Key. This beach volleyball player friend of mine is always a joy to play twos with on the beach with her positive attitude and always smiling. I can't wait to play beach volleyball with you again this summer, Key, and you have a great birthday. I also forgot to mention that when I was downtown earlier, that I ran into an international, world-renowned musical artist friend of mine. Check who I found. Hi! Henley! <laughs> In case you guys didn't know, I have a music video up here of one of her performances that she did before the pandemic started. Anyways, it was good randomly running into you, Han Han, and hope everything is well with you and you stay safe and healthy out there. So before I go for my first of my two night shifts tonight, I'm just going to show you something. My bedroom blinds have been like this since the beginning of the year, with these two blinds here being broken. And they've been laying on my windowsill for months now. So I'm just making this post to keep me accountable to one day fixing these blinds. So today, just wanted to wish one of my old co-workers a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Megan Glover. I remember working with you years back with you always smiling, cheerful, and showing that positive energy. And for you, always hosting our yearly Christmas gatherings. I hope all is well with you, Megan, that you're staying safe and be sure to say hi to the little one for me. So I just want to let you know, it's a glorious 18 degrees outside right now. I'm in my t-shirt and shorts outside in March. And a friend just notified me that the new bubble tea place that's open near my condo has their soft opening today. And I'm remembering just a couple months back when they were just starting construction on this place. We are about to get a new place for bubble tea that I'll be checking out in a future episode. So we're gonna look out for that. So let's go check them out. Honestly guys, this is going to be so dangerous having a bubble tea place located just downstairs because I guess we all now know where a little bit of my paycheck will be going to every week. Check it out, I know someone famous who's in a commercial on TV. On your first try. Yeah, like that. Yo, I know that guy. It's Joey. Way to go, Joey. You're making it big. Woohoo! One day, brother, I'm going to get you to sign my TV for me. Today, feeling pretty tired because post night shift, I only slept for about three hours. But I didn't mind getting up a little bit early because I wanted to wish a happy birthday to Bree. This former CA at Wysik was a friend of mine who helped mentor me in that position when I was working there. And just for you, Bree, I'm wearing a Neil Wysik shirt. 
Just want to let you know that if you're ever up for the challenge, I'm coming for that CA Wysig Bowling Championship in the future. Also, congrats on the new little one, and I want to wish you a happy birthday, Bree. But continuing on with this day, I saw an ad on Facebook Marketplace that I cannot pass up. So hopefully the fiance won't get mad at me, but here goes another spontaneous Facebook Marketplace buy. All right guys, so now that I've got this baby, where the hell is it gonna fit in here? And I guess it's time to try out this baby. If I'm gonna install it and use it, I might as well make it the lesson of the week. So right now, it's time for the lesson of the week. As you can see here, as I try to install this, the margin between here and here is too wide for this doorway. Meaning there's not enough doorway to hold it in place. And if I pull it down, it will slip off. So what I'm planning to do is add folded towels to each end to add bulk to the door frame. So you see, adding the towels here extends the width of the door frame, making this more flush to the door frame and more secure. Now that it's in place, let's go try it. Wish me luck. Guess what? It works. Looks like I got a new exercise toy. So it's early Saturday morning and before I do some grocery shopping like I promised to the fiance, I am about to make another Facebook Marketplace purchase. I saw this baby for 15 bucks and I'm about to buy it. So, before I go on and play with my new toy tonight, woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo! Woo! Make it rain! Make it rain! I've got a couple of birthday greetings for ya. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to Nicole, one of my beach volleyball friends that I played twos with this past summer, who also let me take videos of her and her in-game play. Can't wait to see you on the beach this summer and you have a great birthday. Also have another birthday greeting to T. Happy birthday, Christina. It's been a while catching up, but I remember our chats that we had when we were younger on Messenger. Hope you have a great birthday, T, and I hope that you and your family are staying safe and healthy at this time. I also have a birthday greeting to birthday twins from elementary school, Michelle and Jessica. I remember randomly running into you guys back in Chinatown in downtown Toronto a couple years back. And now Jessica has her own YouTube channel. So go check that out guys. And Michelle, just tonight, was newly engaged. So congratulations Michelle. But yeah, hope you guys are doing well and happy birthday once again to you both. And last but not least, I got a birthday greeting to RJ. Man, I've known you from time, from Ryerson, to sightseeing tours, to training for marathon runs, to actually running an ER in downtown Toronto. I hope you have a great birthday, RJ, and I hope you're staying safe and healthy at this time during the pandemic. So it's been exactly five weeks since I got my first COVID vaccine. And technically, my left arm should be sore right now because it was supposed to be scheduled today that I was going to get my second COVID vaccine. But since there's new guidelines on getting the second dose 16 weeks after you got the first dose, I won't be getting my second dose until June. But the good news is I was able to use the time to do my taxes instead. Woo! Just finished doing my taxes. Confetti everywhere. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, boo. Woo! I need more confetti. Click. Woo! More confetti. And I know I'm not getting paid for this or anything, but if you do do your taxes with h and Block on their website, you get a 10% off discount by using the code that I provide below. And it helps me out because evidently I get 10 bucks out of it too. So it's a win-win for everybody. But anyways, I want to throw back to earlier this month when I got a package, but I didn't quite let you guys know what I got. For fear that the fiance might know and kill me, 
but I'll reveal it to you guys now. Spending 50 bucks on this, you'll see what I got. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the fiance is gonna kill me for getting this. How does this work? This is actually so stupid. So let's try a wardrobe change. Boom! Fiance definitely not gonna trust me with any money after this purchase. So yeah, sorry fiance for making that purchase. But don't worry, I'll definitely make use of it in the future. So it's close to the end of the month and I'm here at the cemetery to do my monthly visit to my Lala. Hey Lala, hope you're doing well up there. Continue to pray for us, continue to guide us in our daily lives. And also just wanna say that we love you and we miss you. So I just pulled into the great city of Markham to do, guess what? Another Facebook Marketplace run. But unfortunately, you'll have to wait until next week's episode to find out exactly what I got. But for now, we've come to the end of the episode. Feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And before we wrap up this episode, I have some good news to tell you. I looked at the YouTube channel earlier, and with your help, Jaywalker POV has reached 100 subscribers. So I really want to thank you guys for joining me on this journey so far, from the bottom of my heart. So thanks again guys for watching this video and supporting the channel. And you guys stay safe and healthy out there and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.